Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are having issue with the Snap Camera app on your Mac device like I did, have a look here. This is the Snap Camera before the fix. All the lens would not load at all. And have a look at this fix. This is after the fix that I apply. Most of the lens came back and looking good. Keep watching if you are interested in the fix. I might have a solution for you. In this video, I'll be sharing how I got the Snap Camera app to work on my Mac Mini M1. This might so apply to Mac Intel version as well. Now, the reason why your Snap Camera app ceased to work is because the developer has removed all the lens and they are no longer supporting the application your application will continue to low but will not have any lens this is what it looks like all the lens is grided out Now the snap camera version that I have installed on this is 1.21.0 Let's go to the, the developer website and have a look So they remove the app version and they are offering the Snapchat for web version. Click on there if you want to sign up, but I do not want to sign up. I want to use the app version. Uh, this is the instruction on how to remove the app version completely from your Mac. And below is the window version. So the last official release of the Snap Camera application is version 1.21.0. I have downloaded and installed on my Mac from this link here. So go on to this link and download your own Snap Cam app version 1.21.0 install it as per normal now this is the link that you also need to get all the fix the certificate and the terminal script that you need to run so for mac you're welcome to read the instruction on there but for Mac, just download this certificate. It's a zip file. I have downloaded here on my desktop. Double click on it to extract the zip certificate. To install it, double click on the certificate. All right, so this is the key change access manager window. It used to install certificate and this and 
This is the certificate details. Have a look to see if it's all right. For me, it looks all right. So just make sure you select all the boxes, say all white trust and click on all white trust. Enter your Mac password. Now make sure it has a green or blue tick in the certificate. Let's double click on it just to check and make sure. Somehow it say never trust, but I have already always select always trust, but let's just select it again. Password again. Let's just double check on it again. Triple check. All white trust, which is good, excellent. All right, on some Mac, the Keychain Access Manager might not load up when you double click on the certificate file. So, what you need to do is spotlight it and type in Keychain Access, press enter. and it will take you to the same window as before. So on the left hand side, log in and certificate and just follow the instruction as per before install the certificate. All right, so we also have to install, not install, but run a script in terminal. Now this group is adding a line in your Mac, telling your Mac to access studio app.snapchat.com to go to the IP address, which is 66.228.41.64. To access all the necessary uh, resources for your snap camera so I have added in run this script before I don't need to run it again let's close it let me show you where the file is where the line is added to it. so go to your host file and right click on there and open with just any text editor will do as you can see here, the host file is redirecting all the traffic going to snap studio app.snapchat.com to the IP address to get all the resources needed for the snap camera. That's what uh, a mouthful. <laughs> now, Let's uh, open up snap camera and just to confirm that all my lens would, all the lens would be there. Yes, as expected, all the lens, well, most of the lens come back. I don't know uh, if all the lens have come back or not. Let me know if you are missing any lens, but I think most of it should be there. I'm happy. I hope you would be too. Oh, snap camera. All right, cool. It works. Seems okay. All right. I also use 
Snapcam with OBS Studio. So let's open up OBS Studio to see if it works in OBS Studio. Excellent, it looks good. It works in OBS Studio. Looks right. So my OBS Studio version is 28.1.2. My Mac version is Big Sure.11.7.3. Looks good. I think that's it for this video. I hope you find it useful. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.